Good morning from Krabi. We're gonna go to Rayleigh Beach, which is not far from here. We're staying in Onang. And don't worry, I am putting together all the clips I get from our five days, six days in Krabi, and doing like a travel guide. So I think that'll come out on Sunday. Not too sure. But anyway, yes, I thought I'd make today a bit more of an individual vlog as there's a lot more going on. So let's go and see this paradise. Let us see how many people are there. I predict many. I don't care though, I just want to get out in the sun. It's so beautiful here. Oh, thank, thank you. you. Awesome. We're just being in yes, there. we are. <laughs> lady at our hostel, our hotel, knew we were going to Rayleigh Beach today, so she's packed us some watermelon for the trip. It's so lovely. All right, we're gonna go ahead and get some smoothies from our smoothie lady, 30 baht smoothies, kangarong, fuel up, then pop to 7-Eleven, grab some snacks, and jump on the boat. Our smoothie lady's not there yet. Since we've been in Krabi, we haven't woken up this early. <laughs> Can I also just note how fucking beautiful this place is? It's like up our road, but look at all the limestone cliffs. Krabi is so pretty. Just went and got a banana and coffee smoothie. Literally the best combination of flavors. I spat, it's that exciting, ever, and even best. Why don't they have this everywhere else in the world? It's only Asia, look at that, it's genius. So we just got dropped off at Rayleigh and it's so beautiful, but I expected way more crowds here. I mean, there's a lot of people, but I expected it to be jam-packed. Watermelon time! All right, so we have been swimming, we've enjoyed the sun. We're gonna head over to the other side, the east side of the island, and see what's over there now. Chilled out bars, do not feed the monkey. Oh, Can't feed you. Don't like monkeys, do we? I got bitten by a monkey. Yes, everyone knows. Stop going on about God. I had to have rabies injections. Oh, he did. So many, like five. Uh, it seems to be a lot of cool restaurants and bars and cafes and stuff on the island. Um, so bring your own food if you want, but if you haven't got any, don't worry about it. But, like, seem to. Ooh, it's very limestone y. Please, no monkeys. I swear to God. I've got food in my bag. I'm not ready for this. Diamond cave. Do not like monkeys. Obviously monkeys. not ready because your bag's all the way open. <laughs> okay, I'll sort it. We're having a beer at the beach. We're just chilling out at this little bar, and then we're gonna head back to Krabi. Such a nice day. This place is so beautiful. I didn't even. I'd never heard of it before we came to Krabi, which is disgusting of me, I know, and I'm sorry if the wind was bad. I'd never heard of it. Um, and everyone was like raving, sorry, the wind. Everyone was raving and I see why and it's not too overcrowded. I got sand in my eye. The beach life. Enjoy a time lapse. Okay, so we are back, we're showered, we just had like an hour and just chilled out. Um, we're gonna head 
to an Indian restaurant tonight because we've had some really good Thai food, we had some street food last night. We we're like, let's get some Indian, let's really mix it up because we've had a real good mix down in Krabi, which again will be fully explained with all the food options and stuff in my travel guide coming soon. Um, so I'll talk to you a bit about the island, a few things to say, and also about how I'm doing. If anyone gives a crap, I don't know. Um, tomorrow, I'll do that tomorrow morning and then I'll have this up for you. This will work perfectly. All right, I'll talk to you tomorrow. Mwah. Bye bye. No, I'm coming back soon. Wait, it's, it's a transition. It's, look, look, it's a transition. I told you it was just a transition. All right, so it's the next day. We're having a bit of a work day today. Um, it's got to be under the weather and the internet's not working, so that went well. I just wanted to say, Rayleigh Beach, the way everyone talked about it, I was expecting like mad crowds and it to just be overwhelming on the touristy side and being hassled all the time, but we really weren't. It was really worth it. I would so recommend it. And it's only like 15 minutes. As you saw, it's so easy. Just go to the counter, get a ticket, go to the guy, wait for the boat, get on the boat and go. This is my first proper time in Southern Thailand, really, I'd say. I went to Pattaya, but like, I feel like this is more of what I expected and tomorrow we're leaving to go to Koh Lanta. I can really see myself like coming back to Krabi because there's so many tiny little islands that you can just jump on a long tail boat and get to really quickly and really cheaply. But I'd really actually, if it was possible, like to come back again and maybe stay longer and go further afield. But the past five days, you all know I came to have a major chill time. And the first three days, we slept in past noon, which was phenomenal. We never do that every day. We had cold beers, we ate really good food, listened to a lot of live music. And it was just, I barely touched my laptop. I barely did much work except for the bare essentials. Really enjoyed that. And now I feel much more refreshed going back to work. I just need a bit of a break because January was just so hectic. I'd love to hear off you because I said we're going to Koh Lanta for a week and apparently it's just like no one ends up doing anything because it's like the most laid back island in Thailand apparently. So I'm okay with that. I haven't got a problem with that. Uh, someone recommended on my Patreon feed the Four Island Tour which we've seen things um, around here for that actually I think. Um, but is there any islands off of Koh Lanta? We're staying right at the bottom of Long Beach. Um, so any good places to eat or things to do then let us know. We're looking forward to some great sunsets and a lot of lazing around drinking smoothies with sand between our toes. Alright, so let me know down below if you have any recommendations and if you've never been to Kalanta then let me know your favourite island. Also, if any of you know any like islands that are like proper off the grid that you can still get to though, um, we'd love to hear about them because they're my favourite. Alright, I'm going to stop rambling and go finish this and put it up for you. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, keep up to date with the craziness that is our time. And it's not very crazy at the moment, we're just like really horizontal, chilled. And I will see you in a couple of days where I should hopefully, fingers crossed, either Friday or Sunday, have a crabby travel grind. Travel grind, I'll probably, yes, it's a travel grind. That is what it is and I'm sticking to it. Alright, so I will see you in a couple of days. Bye bye. Ah. <laughs> Don't hit the camera when it's on the truck. Okay.